In this video, we're going to take a look at how to post exam grades for a course that has a graded final exam. Now, in the past, you may have been used to having to switch to a different term. So we used to have an E1 and an E2 grading term for exam grades. In Infinite Campus, exams are now considered a grading task that takes place within a grading term. So I'm teaching a semester long course, so I'm in my second nine weeks. And so the tasks, I have three tasks I need to complete for this course. I'm gonna post my term grade or my nine weeks report card grade. I have to post my exam grade because I do have a graded final exam. And then I also will need to eventually post their overall average or their final grade, which we'll cover in a different video. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to exam grade in my grading task dropdown. If you are around during the power school days, you may remember having to create an assignment to be able to post an exam grade in infinite campus. However, we are going to go directly into the posted column and we're just going to manually enter students grades for their exams into that column, almost like we're doing a manual override um, for all students with this. So for students that take your final exam and receive a score, you need to, just like you would for a regular nine weeks grading term, the percent and the grade columns must match in the posted section. The fastest way to do this is to enter the score into the percent column because this will autofill into that grade column for you. So it takes care of both columns at the same time. Now, another situation that may come up is you may have students, if you're in a teacher made exam course, you may have students who are exempt from your um, exam for that course. For those students, the code now for exempt is NEX, and that code is going to be entered into the grade column only. Now, the grade column does have a drop down, and I could scroll all the way through that drop down, or I can just start typing NEX and it will bring that up for me. So, and I can just hit enter and move quickly. Another situation that you might run into if you are teaching a course where your exam scores don't come back immediately, so maybe your exam scores will come back in January, you might be instructed to put an incomplete in for that student's exam grade as a placeholder. That is also a special code we'll use, so I'm just going to start typing INC, and that will populate in the grade column for me. For both exempt and incomplete exam scores, um, for those grades that don't come back immediately, we are going to leave the percent box blank. And so they will only have their special code in their grade column. So for this, you'll go through down by every student. Every student should have something, whether it's a score in both columns or one of those special codes in that grade column um, for those special cases. Once you're complete, you're going to click the save button in that top left corner and that will finalize posting your exam grades. 